Vanakkam. My name is Senthil. I am a teacher and a scientist and also people call me a Siddha doctor, a native doctor. These are my kids. On my right I have Aradhana Rajendra Sori and on my left I have Guhapriya Rajaraja Sori, named after the king, the great warrior in the world, Rajaraja Soran. Now I am going to show an experiment to the kids. Now, I am going to pour some water on this plate and sprinkle a powder. I am using a herbal powder. I have lot of herbal powders, so I am using one of the powder. You can use powdered pepper, powdered coriander powder or powdered red chilli or powdered dry leaves, anything like that. Aradhana, now I am going to show you how a virus get into your hands while you are going out of your house. Now touch the water on this plate. Can you notice that the virus particles now attached in your fingers? Now Gohapriya, I will show you why we need to wash our hands with soap. I am applying some soap on your finger. Now place your finger on the water in the plate. See how the virus are running out of your finger. This is the reason we need to wash our hands frequently with soap is always better habit. Soap breaks the virus particles but this effect will remain only for a shorter period. Now, Guhapriya has washed her hand. She will touch the water again to show that the virus again sticks to her finger. Children, from this experiment, you must have understood that washing our hands with soap will remove the virus. But you have to understand that it will be for a shorter period. We need to wash our hands whenever we go out and return to our home. Please keep this in mind. Next, we will see another important matter about bacteria. Do you think that our palms and fingers are always clean? Definitely not. By default, our hands consist of millions of bacteria. It will always live in our hands. So. As per this, are these bad for our health? No, these are good bacteria which help our body. I can give you an example. The Italy batter that was prepared by our mom is normally mixed with hands after grinding. This helps the batter in yeast formation and the next day morning the batter will consist of millions of good bacteria which makes the idli so soft. Likewise, the virus will not be in our hand always. It sticks our hands only by going outside of our home touching something which was already touched by many people. Now, let us see the path it enters our body and where it resides. 1. Via our mouth and resides inside our throat. 2. Via nozzle by breathing and resides inside our nose and throat. 3. Via eyes and resides inside our eyes. That's why we need to goggle with salt water. Now 
I will give you a few easy steps to continue your day-to-day -day activities without fear and non-stop. Rule number one, whenever you feel sore throat, bite four peppers with two crystal of sea salt. Bite them thoroughly and swallow. Do this once in every two hours for four times. This will kill the virus and rectify the sore throat issue by moving the virus out of our body. Now, I will explain how it will kill the virus. After we bite pepper with salt, our body system will accumulate mucus from our respiratory system in which the virus resides. Now, expel the mucus by coughing. The virus is out of our body in the sputum. I have noticed with many people they swallow the mucus instead of expelling out. We must never do that. Our body is created with self-healing property. Body creates cough and mucus only to expel the unwanted thing from our body. Please keep this in mind. Please subscribe to our channel to know the facts. Yes, we post only facts. Next, why pepper? We all aware of the general virus pattern. You can see the screen now. This is the pattern of virus. Now, I will show you pepper. This is the pattern of pepper. We all very well know that each vegetable we consume represents a particular part in our body and the shape will resemble that part. For example, the beans. It represents the kidney. That's why we call it as kidney beans. Likewise, the best immune booster is considered to be pepper. How to eat pepper? Bite it well and the spicy will run into your nose, eyes, ears and even to head and from there to all parts of our body via nerves. How this will bring the virus out? 1. Eyes start tearing. 2. Gas comes out of ears. 3. Mucus come from nose. Another example. Whenever you sneeze continuously or feel like cold, bite few peppers. This will cure this in few minutes. Now, conclusion. If you feel that you are affected with some virus, simply bite four peppers for every two hours. One strict rule, you must not drink water for next 30 minutes of pepper bite. The spicy will run into your nose, eyes and to entire body via head. Keep doing this and make it a practice in such a way that pepper essence will mix with blood and creates T cells which will boost immunity and permanently fights against all virus. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel to know facts. Save Tamil and Tamil culture to save the world. Thank you.